Hello everyone and welcome back. It will be the continuation of my story with the Dero on the Mini Lace. And as you can see, there is no display at the moment and no scales, nothing mounted on the lace. And the device itself is stays over here uh, with this kind of setup. These are the scale that was mounted on the compound slide. And here's both sensors, one by one. These are actually the second device, the same as was initially mounted on the lace and you saw in the video, but it's absolutely the same device, just from another seller on AliExpress. Now I will show you what actually is wrong with it and why it's here. Uh, just look on the numbers. So when I'm moving the table, the numbers are already different on the both uh, measures. And the bottom measurement is okay and the top one is not. So if I will move even further, you will see something like this. So at some point, we move in one direction and it starts measuring backwards. And then so th th this one, this one is not what should happen with any kind of the DRO, and both of the devices was uh, performing the same way. Uh, the first one was returned to the seller. I paid for the return. Then bought this one. I would think that it's only the problem of the device itself, but uh, or particular device. But no, it's in general for this kind of scales. So I would strongly not recommend to buy them um, and very likely I will uh, left the uh, uh, links to these devices uh, on the AliExpress uh, that no one even think about buying some one of them. <clears throat> but now I have this one goes out. Now I have just another one set. So it's another one device, also from China. Uh, this use uh, also magnetic scales, but this one could work uh, also with another types of scales. Uh, and these scales are uh, more like um, universal. So they are works in the same way as uh, optical scales and the magnetic scales are absolutely the same. I will show only briefly uh, the modifications that I will need to do. Um, so I will change the... So th this device is working from uh, 220 volts. I will change uh, the setup there on the lace. So I will remove um, the power supply for 12 volts for this one device. And we'll mount this cable later on. So initially I will do that. I will just uh, install the scales and then I will do everything with the power supply that this device is turned on also with the lace. Uh, then mounting the same way as was before of the scales, the sensors um, and the scales back to the lace. And then the test of the device. This time for the operation I removed the entire carriage and uh, compound slide. Because uh, I will need to drill the holes uh, for the sensor, I decided to drill one more time instead of build some, I don't know, holder for the sensor. Here at a little bit lower and uh, I could not get there with the drill directly on the lace, so I decided to remove the entire piece. And as it's uh, already on my table, I will do one more thing. I will uh, drill one hole here for the uh, oil the oil supply that uh, could drop directly on this screw and two oil supplies over here uh, because this one is blocked with the scale when it's mounted so they will be somewhere like this because when I mount the scale the scale stays here and they are not accessible at all so this will have 
This will take me a little bit more comfort with the oiling of the uh, slide. Here is how sensor mount looks. So the same cable over here, sensor here. Here I have a rubber to clean the scale and the scale will be mounted on top right now. And after that I will be ready to go with test how it works. Now I have everything mounted on the slide. So both oil uh, supplies, also the uh, sensor somewhere over there and the scale and actually it works it works fine I will test it and now I will uh, continue working with the um, second scale and the second sensor moving forward or jumping forward now we have everything mounted on the lace absolutely the same way as it was before uh, so actually from the same components um, I was need only to uh, make a little bit different uh, holder over here for the uh, uh, sensor uh, because sensor has uh, it's a little bit bigger so these sensors are a little bit bigger uh, so the sensor on the small first uh, DRO was uh, much smaller now it's just the uh, last point left uh, check how accurate it is I already did the settings, the required settings. Um, there is not so much you could change on exactly this one uh, display, uh, but it's more than enough for the lace. So I could uh, change the uh, resolution of the X scale and um, actually both scales are seems like works. But now let's have a look how accurate they are. Now let's have a look how it works. So I have properly zeroed three indicators. This one, the DRO itself, and over here. And let's move by the DRO for 0 0.2 millimeters. Too much. So something like this one. And as you can see, over here I have also 0 0.1 uh, what that means so the uh, um, <clears throat> lens itself moved for 0 0.1 but on the diameter I will cut 0 0.2 so that's exactly the measure I need but this one dial is showing completely incorrect values only if I will move so for something like uh, uh, not even one millimeter so one full rotation that are basically two millimeters on the diameter uh, then I will have uh, zero over here so it will show uh, one millimeter and uh, I will have the something like 0 0.01 so 1000 more over here this one values and uh, what I see for me is completely a case, so this lays uh, anyway. Um, I don't think I will be able to use to cut like uh, 1000 of the millimeter, but uh, like 5000 of the millimeter easily. Um, let's have a look on the other scale but I will need to change the indicator position. Now I have zero on the DRO and zero here on the indicator and let's move. It's not so easy on this one but nevertheless I have already oh my god 
and I'll get a little bit more than I should. So I have 1.0.0.5 and here I have exactly one millimeter. So for, again, for this lace, it's more than okay. And uh, the most important thing for me that uh, this DRO is actually working pretty well compared to the one that I was installed at the beginning. So basically I bought the row three times for this lace, two times the same small um, thingy that I would think that should work or will work, but it wasn't. Thank you, the AliExpress. And guys, please not buy this thing. I will drop the comment uh, with the link what you never should buy. But this one is pretty nice and is working working fine enough for me and uh, it will help me definitely a lot with the small projects I have. Thanks for watching and see you next time.